points in that. We've got 12 in this, two groups, six in group B and six in group A. So hello again from Will Downing. Afraid we'll be all in slightly reflective mood today as it is the last day in Mexico City. Great para sport festival. Uh, the swimming concluding last night, powerlifting concluding today and very short today will be done in about four hours. So we start off with Mexico, who've been great hosts. And it is Maria del Socorro Lira, a first major championship on a global basis, was at the 2015 Pan Ams from San Luis Potosi. And she's starting off at 106. First entrant we were scheduled to see, Adeline and Chetta of the Philippines. Obviously had a look around her. She de declared at 100 and then saw it was the lowest target of the lot in the first round. So she's gone for something considerably mm -hmm. higher. We'll see her very late in Group B. She'll be going for 111. So Maria del Socorro Lira. First to go for oh. Mexico good host they've had a successful games as well which also helps just won two medals in the senior but both gold Yep, successful. Three out of three. Two from Mexico in this, and while Maria del Socorro is saying quite low, obviously, first in the competition to go, we do also have Perla Fasenas, who will be going a little later and who will be in Group A. And by virtue of uh, what she's going for early on, will be a candidate at least. The bar is loaded to but that was uh, largely faultless, and away we go. Tayana Medeiros of Brazil next to go. 106 for her. She was going to aim quite high originally, but 106 instead for her. Six below her uh, original target. Her uh, major international debut, well, international debut full stop, was at the uh, Ego World Cup in Hungary back in May from Rio. She won bronze there, so this is her championship debut. She's from the Ava Club in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, Madeira is aiming for 106. Kept a relatively Down straight there. and level, but not enough. So that's uh, two against. Loaders, please. Load the bar to one and Madeira's having originally aimed uh, a lot higher than that. Whether she'd have found that too high, something we might not know until later if she ends up going for 112, but missing out at 106 anyway. Polina Katzman. So now Polina Katzman from Polina Israel Katzman. coming in at uh, 110. Saw her competing as well uh, in Hungary this year. Israel in most sporting federations compete in Europe. And she's finished fourth and fifth in the last two European championships. 110 is going to be Katzman's first target. Yeah. 
didn't get a mark in that World Cup in uh, Hungary. Three misses at 111. This for 110. Could be a split vote, but going her way by two to one. Loaders, please, so away she goes. Kilos, so it's already going to be a more successful competition than Hungary was earlier this year. Lee Yun Jung for Korea, the reigning Asian Para Games champion. Fourth in the last two global events, Dubai's World Championships and the Rio Paralympic Games. Silver in Ega at the World Cup. So over 86, the, the biggest weights to be lifted the highest weight division and Lee to commence at 110. So Lee for one ten. Right. In terms of the lift, got Good. that pretty much nailed on. Three out of three. She takes top spot on the head-to-head -head with Melina Katzman. She is six and a half kilograms lighter in body weight. Very, very good effort. So Adeline Anchetta from the Philippines, 111 now. As was said, 100 was her original target, which would have been the lowest of all of the competition. And she's better than that. She's the reigning Southeast Asian champion. She's won that crown five times. She's also been the Asian powerlifting champion, as in the Asian powerlifting champion, full stop. And we're not talking para powerlifting either. She's also been the Asian bench press champion, that was 99. And the first from the Philippines to medal at the Paralympic Games, bronze in 2000. Silver in the most recent Asian para games uh, in Incheon. So a magnificent, successful career to date. Still a few years left in that career. So obviously she was aiming at 100, thinking that others would pitch themselves lower, and they didn't. Everybody has largely entered at the right weight. And Chetta going for 111. The higher she goes, the more competitive she can get to uh, break among those in Group A. No but way. maybe 100 would have been a good, better place to start. Uh, all three giving a red, and Chetta starts with a no left. We'll have to return at 111. 
So three of the first five lifters successful, Lyra Cutman and Lee. Thank you. Advance to 112 kilograms for first attempt from the United States of America. Ashley Dunn! Quite a bit to work on then for the uh, next round for Adeline and Cheta. Ashley Dice is next for the United States, her first major championship from Colton in California. And as a para athlete, very successful year, she's the United States javelin champion in her category and silver in the shot in the United States para athletics championships. 112 this for an early lead in Group B for Ashley Dice. Trouble. Well, we'll know in the next round whether she's actually entered too high. But struggling at 112 to get that fully lifted Ashley Dice. That could be uh, a difficulty in future rounds if that wasn't a, a technique problem. Find them the downlift and then the uplift. Might only have got a quarter of the way up. Into round two then. Tiana Medeiros going to go next. Having missed 106 in the first round, but that was uh, a split call, two to one against. Three successful, three not in the opening round. Brazil with a bronze at these World Championships. Six again for Madeiras. Brazil with a silver in Rio. A bronze of the last World Championships in Dubai, so that by and large, keeping the same standard. Excellent host of the Paralympics oh. last year. Deiros keeping a, a good line on the way up, and that'll be successful, three out of three. So that's Madeiras on the board, and immediately climbs on the head-to-head -head above Maria Lira of Mexico into third spot. Two attempts at 106, and that one's successful. Find out the kinks from the previous attempt. Nigeria, the most successful nation over the past two global events in Rio and Dubai. Thank you. The bar is to 111 kilograms. Will be China with most goals here. Unless Egypt can get victories in the last two events. Go level with them and golds won. So Adeline Anchetta returning immediately with 111, going for the same mark again as she did barely three lifts ago. It's only six minutes since she's been out previously. Kind of a curiosity that 
straight away one of the, uh, the heaviest lifts in group one, which has missed, comes one of the lowest lifts in round two. And here she is out again. No mark for Anchetta at the Paralympic Games. Um. Went for a similar mark there, 112 in the opening round in Rio, 111 here. Hey. Got a bit of white on the board this time, but not enough. No lift, two and against. So of the eight lifts we've seen so far, four successful, four unsuccessful. So does she go for the same again? In Rio, she kept going up. 112, 116, 121, didn't get them. Stuck at 111 here. And she got 121 in that final round at the Paralympics. It would have been fourth place for her. Six we've seen so far. She's one of the two without a mark. Maria del Socorro Lira. Maria del Socorro Lira. 106 in the opening round, going for 112 here. Mexico have been very, very well supported. They've been a terrific host nation. Uh, it's been brilliant to see a lot of local schools spreading the word, having a few uh, classes in here to help with the atmosphere crowds I've been the highest of any of these events that I've been at because obviously you'll have always the other lifters and officials and those who are uh, involved and they'll be here in their dozens and up into three figures we've had a few sessions as well where they've been to the uh, hundreds of the public as well has been live on television over here as tends to be the case it's got a lot of good attention so Maria del Socorro Lira aiming to keep it level had a, a bit of bother on the way down but we'll see if she gets the, the seal of approval it's taken a while for the scores to come in but they're all good for her and three out of three for Maria del Socorro Lira, clears 112. She's our new leader. Good to see such huge Iranian support for uh, Zeman Rachman last night as well in the men's equivalent of this. In the over 107. So Ashley Dice, who missed in the opening round, looking for success this time. 112 she missed out on in the previous round.
feels like we've had a large team from the United States this time. She got it up there, but uh, somewhat interrupted along the way, so that'll be all three against. Well, she's in a spot of bother, and so is Adelina and Chet of Philippines, who's had two goes at 111. She is going to repeat what she did in Rio in terms of uh, going for a much greater weight in uh, round three. And Chet is going for 120. As for Ashley Dice, we'll have to wait and see. Just to see if Dice follows the same tactics, but as we saw last night in the men's over 107 kg final, we had a uh, dramatic leap up by Khalid El Nujim, who'd missed his first two, and then all of a sudden, with a late lift, was uh, able to get up quite high. Katzman makes her return back. the dramatic men's 97 kg final. Fabio Torres missing his first two, then lifting 2-1-9 right at the end, going to the gold medal position, ending up with a bronze, but uh, so close to bowing out without a mark and finding himself then in the record books right at the bottom with NM alongside his name. Katzman already with 110, this to go in front with 115. That's going to go away. Three out of three for Katzman. To hit the front. Group A is going to start at 121. Let's see how many can uh, get closer, surpass that out of Group B. It's always an interesting dynamic when you've uh, a couple of lifters who are able to get high out of Group B. And the automatic thing then, if you're in Group A and follows the natural process that lifter after lifter will be taking the lead, that's, that's then lost for a bit. Anyway, here's Lee Kyung, Kyung of Korea, 117. Highest attempt in this second round. Won the Asian Para Games title on home soil three years ago. Globally fourth, her best result in the last two global games. Lifted 115 uh, to finish fourth in Rio at the Paralympics. Seventeen. Going to be a split call, and it is against her two to one. So misses out at one hundred and seventeen. It's fair to say she wasn't that far off it. Of 
various new innovations being tested here, which uh, I think have worked quite well in truth. Teada Medeiros for Brazil, lifting now. The venue's been absolutely superb. It's been wrapped in that maroon colour. And the music cues. Referees, all uh, all the officials walking out to uh, the Imperial theme from Star Wars. Which they also did in the swimming. I'm, I'm told the swimming officials didn't like that very much, but they've... Uh, They've gone with it here. I think here they've just found it very, very funny. Maybe some enjoyed it more than others. It's been introduced in athletics the past few years. It works very, very well there, but even in athletics, you've got people who uh, rail against it. Medeiros then for 112. Solid. Good. And good two to one for Medeiros. And 112. Yes, he enjoyed that. Goes into second spot for now. And having missed the first attempt at 106, got the second. And then cleared 112. So very, very good work. coaching team appreciated it and anticipated that uh, she was going to get an overall thumbs up there. So 112 for Medeiros in second place. Ashley Dice going for the same target. Third time she's aiming for this. Three attempts at 112. Ashley Dice for the USA. This to get on the board and not be wiped out. And she's just gone in too heavy. That's the third time it's happened to her, unable to get the bar raised. Unfortunate. But obviously, when she was uh, behind the curtain this morning, in training, they obviously felt the 112 was going to be very, very achievable. Then she comes out the stage and it just can't get above halfway. That is the reaction that the eyes have it. I mean, you'll get told different things by different people, even in different sports. You'll always be told that you'll you'll never achieve in training and practice what you will do when you're out in the auditorium. It's such a frustrating thing when you go out and three times you're attempting something you know you're capable of, but on the day, it's not. A bit different when the spotlight's on you. That's another innovation here to add to the drama of it and make it uh, more of a television event without losing the essence of it. Here's Lira from Mexico, 116.
support for the home lifters has been absolutely tremendous. attempt so far oh. is for the lead for Maria del Socorro Lira. Need to fight against that. But she got it. <laughs> Three, 106, 112, 116. Lord She's our current leader, and she could not have asked any more. I don't think she could have put much more on the bar and been successful. Rhea del Socorro Lira from San Luis Potosi, coached by Jesus Garcia. And that was very, very sweetly done. Well, she's the uh, top dog at the moment in Group D. And she may be very heavily overtaken by uh, those who will follow, but she's done what she set out to do. It'll probably be a top 10 finish. Maybe top six. Lena Katzman has had a uh, successful time for it as well. Two lifts, both successful, 110 and 115. here is the first one I've seen who uh, is actually filming the lift from the back of the stage there you go getting every angle right and she came very close to doing that but it's 2-1 against her and she'll finish on 115 that's sort of interesting I wonder why more coaches don't do that that's actually not a bad idea I can't recall seeing that before Obviously, explains the lifter, in this case, Polina Katzman, the, the view that a coach would have. We've got our own one from the side. Generally, in vision, you're watching with the head on. Lee Hyun Jung is next for Korea. Missed 117 last time, going for it again here. successful career so far for the pump take lifter she's 31 years old so 170 
made it a little bit of the way up. No lift. And no lift it is. So 110 is where she bows out. Uh, it was 2 1 against. So 110 was the best. Two stabs at 117. So at the moment, it is still a Mexican leader in Mexico City. These are the last Mexican competitors that we are seeing during the week in this uh, Parasport Festival. Maria Lira in the lead. So a chance of their last medal. Has been so busy here. The days have been so, so long that I know a lot of us working in the powerlifting have been hoping to get next door and and watch the swimming every day. I didn't get to see a single race. But to uh, have world championships organized in two buildings, two separate sports alongside each other is Absolutely terrific, so thumbs up to those involved in the organization of Mexico City here. Um, and Chetta hoping for uh, the ultimate thumbs up here. Big leap from 111 to 120. Missed the first two for technique reasons. She's capable of a 120. But is it going to be here? But, uh, no, it's a vote against by two to one. And she's wiped out. Hasn't been able to record uh, a mark at all, same as Ashley Dice. So. Adelina and Chetta, same as the Paralympic Games, no mark there and no mark here. Second global championship in a row in which it's been reds all the way for her. Unfortunate for her. So we go into Group A. And starting off with the Netherlands, Dutch team of two here. And Malika Toonfoot going for 121 straight away, which will be the outright lead. Bronze in Rio and bronze at the last World Championships in Dubai. The first Dutch para powerlifting medalist. Based in Rotterdam, born in Suriname. Moved at the age of 14. Netherlands has had so many top sports people who've followed precisely the same route. to uh, keep it basic, but to no win answer. against. <laughs> Superb bronze it was in the uh, Paralympic Games for two and four.
But that's just Spanner in the works who are trying to be competitive here. She'd started off with 125 in Rio, which was her uh, exact body weight at the time. She's now 35 kilos lighter than she was in Rio, which obviously um, helps when there's a tie. Only Lovelina Biji of Nigeria is uh, lighter in body weight, so she's the only one who could beat her in a tie. So Mozena Zieva for Poland. And I always have a good team here as well, and she won silver in this in Rio, lifting 134 in the final round. Previously, silver in the 2013 championships in Alexin, and went one better by being crowned European champion than in Eger. She's likely to be the highest Polish finisher if she gets this at 129. So much for it. Three out of three, not a bother. We were due to see her a little later in the competition, but those who were due to lift before have decided to go a bit heavier. But well, that was a nice lift. What came before that was excellent. In terms of the uh, heaviest weights, lovely Nabiji going for 135, Brenda Mackley 132. So now the final Mexican competitor of the week across the swimming and the powerlifting. Perla Barcenas from Mexico City going for 130. Previously world champion in 2010 in the defense of a title in Dubai, didn't register a mark. That the only world championships in which she has not medaled 1998, won a bronze in Dubai. Gold, silver, two bronze in her world championship career. And the Paralympics, a silver and two bronze. The silver in Sydney, 2000. this to set the stadium rocking basically 130 this gymnasium one de la Barrera Got it raised without much drama. Good. And that's a clean bill of health all the way. Three out of three. We have a new leader. She's from Mexico, Bella Vasenas. And that was tremendous. She was two weight divisions down in Rio. Finished fourth there, lifted at 126. And now here she is in the biggest weight division of them all. And she's in the gold medal position. Only Thunfeldt and Abiji would beat her in the uh, 
Head to head, the tie break. Cracking lift. There's big competition for the Mexican here. They've had a terrific week with two gold medals. Has it a Jesus Castillo in the men's 107? Malia Perez in the women's 55. They were both last weekend. Deng Jumai of China, the reigning Asian Games champion from Gangju, sixth in the World Championships in Dubai, did not compete in Rio. 131 to take the lead. Made it look very, very easy. It's a split decision in her favour, 2 to 1. 131 for Deng Xiumai. Well, strong lift to go into the gold medal position above Versailles. China being the most successful nation here. Five gold medals so far. Three for Nigeria, Egypt and Iran. 11 medals in total, which again, more than anyone else. Iran of one nine. Nigeria seven. Egypt five. 19 nations of medals so far. In the Senior World Championships and quite a few more if you throw in the Juniors from last weekend. Ran the back mood now for Egypt. Perennially very successful, they and she. She's the reigning world and Paralympic champion and took the title as well in Eger. Back in May. Ran the back mood with her gold at the up to 86 kg weight division in Rio. Lifted a hundred and thirty. So at over eighty six, lifting a hundred and thirty two, second heaviest attempt in this opening round. Looked good. He's good. New leader, Randa Mahmoud. Three out of three. Second heaviest attempt in the round. Competition goes up another notch in the next few moments. Again, faultless. Lovely Nabiji of Nigeria. The world record holder, formerly. World record holder at up to 86. Didn't compete in Rio. Gold at London 2012. She's the reigning Commonwealth Games champion as well, with that in Glasgow in 2014. That takes in. 60 countries of the 220 odd around the world and silver at the last worlds in 2014. Finishing second behind Randa Mahmoud. So expect another intense battle between these two Deng and Visenus. Interesting wild cards as well. A then, 135 for Nigeria. The Nigerian sportswoman of the year in 2014. Five. 
135. It's going to be a split mm. call against her, though. Well, the judging of this, it's always subjective, as is the case in many others, weightlifting, gymnastics, and so on. Vichy's reaction. Perhaps she felt either she did do better or she ought to. Uh, just missing out 135, it's two and again, she's not that far away. So it's around two then, but Abiji misses out and our leader is Randa Mahmood uh, with 132, Deng 131, Vasenas 130. Like it, Toonfet of the Netherlands returning. Second attempt, 121, having missed in the opening round. moment the attempts that we'll see in round two is very congested the top five attempts divided by three kilograms Toonfert attempting to go fifth if she gets this at the moment Maria uh, Socorro Lira of Mexico is in fifth place with 116 Last time around, yeah. she was uh, denied two to one, and it's the same here. Certainly, there was no hesitation on her part, at the very least. Well, it was bronze in the last two global championships for her, and silver at the last Europeans. In terms of Group A, she uh, started the lowest in the six of one to one, but obviously. That would have been to build a foundation, move on, 125, maybe go for 130 then. 130 is currently the bronze medal position. And adjust where necessary. Next to go. You know where she's from. Paola Barsenas, this to take the lead at 133. Ziba also aiming for 133. Mahmoud and Abiji 135 and Deng 136. Championships which has been excellently supported in Mexico City. So for saying it's 133. Changing. And 
20 seconds left on the clock. Getting the follow through. It's going to be a tight one. It's in her favour. Back in the lead. 133 for Mexico. It's two to one. And she leads again for Mexico. Paula Bersenas. Obviously. find a point on it but uh, in this competition you are talking about different arm lengths Thank you. The bars to 133 kilograms in some cases kind of watching Barcena. to see if there's a bit Sierra. further the arm could go but not there Sierra. perfectly Sierra. straight by Mercedes Sierra. 133 Sierra. and she is our new leader the return then of Marcena Ziva of Poland another fine powerlifting nation 133 she's aiming for which would be second place. Same as what Barsenas has just done, but Barsenas has the nod over her in the head-to-head. -head. And again for 1-3-3. Three, three. Hesitation. Going to be another uh, split call in this one. It's against a two to one. So she stays on uh, 129, and that's fourth for her at the moment. So not that very far away. Got everybody in her favour in the uh, previous round. Lovely Nabiji now for Nigeria. 135 second attempt for her for the former Paralympic champion. 135 being aimed for again. This for the lead. It's not the heaviest attempt in this second round. Patrick Josephine Orji with the uh, world record of 160 set in Rio. Orji had gone for it in the uh, final round, missed it. She'd actually set a world record of uh, 154 as well in round two. Twice hit 154 actually there for uh, the world record in consecutive days. And then came back with the uh, fourth lift, power lift, and got 160 there. So 135 for Abishi. Second attempt. And compared to the first one. It's uh, going to be the same result, to and against. Bit to bother. But she's never been wiped out in a major championship. Failing to get a mark, but she's at two goes at 135. She's got the bar raised, so it's uh, technical issues that are costing her. Bit of bother, Randa Mahmoud, the defending world champion 
I got a world record there as well. Um, not awarded at the time, but she appeals, went to review, and subsequently given. So 135 this for the lead. And the uh, the big head-to-head -head between Mahmoud and Abiji has so far not materialized with the Nigerian lifter missing out on her two first attempts. Mahmoud then for 135. Looked clean, certainly no problem with the speed of it, and she gets it, 135, 3 out of 3, Mahmoud into the lead. She's a step closer to defending a title. Excellent lift by Mahmoud. She's on the mark, Egypt perennially hugely successful at major events. China also. Deng Zhumai finished down in sixth place at the last World Championships. That was at the age of 22. Turned 26 this week. It was on Sunday. This for 136 for the lead. At the moment, we've got uh, five lifters in the final round who are looking to get into the medals. Yeah! And four will be going for gold. Here's Deng's yeah! attempt at it, 136. That's a struggle. And that bar wasn't kept straight and interrupted on the way up, and it's no lift. 136, she misses out on. She'll be going for it again in the next round, at the very least. That effort, just a bit too much for her. We go into the third and final round and some great brinksmanship on the way. It's been uh, gratifying, terrific, the attention this championship's been getting as well because uh, not just live on television in Mexico, but uh, also being streamed on Facebook for the first time and the amount of people watching. I think it's taken a lot of people by surprise, as high as 50,000 for a lot of the sessions, which is tremendous and thrown the usual uh, YouTube service. There have been up to 60,000 watching the sessions, which is fantastic around the world, obviously domestically on TV with all TV. highlights packages on uh, various TV channels around the world as well so this has been uh, in terms of nations and competitors certainly in terms of the crowd and public attendance TV and online the biggest has been hope you've enjoyed the additional added touches too to add to the show Turn for it then, one, two, one. Now she's missed out the two previous times. And it's going to happen yeah. here as well. Um, statistically, 
That was the first where she was marked down all the way. So, unfortunately, the woman who has won bronze in the last two global championships is not going to gain here. So it goes 121, and she has missed out on all of them, wiped out. I think she's in the same boat at the moment. So five lifters going for medals from here on in. Ziba next to go going for silver. The rest are going for gold. So going for 134 is Mozena Zieba of Poland. Gronik. High 134. This for the silver medal position. It's going to be a split one against her, though. It was tight, it was close for it. Bit of a groan that came from the Polish contingent. And that has her down and forth, and she's not going to medal. Gromnik near Tarnoff. Easily could have gone away. That is going to be reviewed, by the way. Poland are uh, having a word. So Fiji's uh, going to come next at 136. So at the moment, this is for gold. Can't go for 135 as. Uh, She's feeling that would be surpassed, but 136 maybe not so much. But it's a remarkable position that a lifter of her standing finds herself in. So is it going to be a repeat of uh, what we've seen earlier in the week in that classic men's 97 kg final when Fabio Torres in the final round out of nowhere, facing oblivion, jumped up just temporarily into the gold medal position, but it was good enough for the bronze, ultimately. So if she gets this, Fiji into the gold medal position. Can still a finish outside the medals. Three to follow. Fiji for 136. Great competitor. She's contributed so much to her sport. Thirty-six for a Bishi. Well, she needs this, otherwise she is wiped out. It looks very, very good, and it is a Bishi in the gold medal position for now. That's the lift she was hoping she would pull out, and she did. Zeba knocked to fifth. At the moment, Degas fourth, and a Bishi's in the gold medal position. She's pulled out her most important lift at the right time. That was a terrific effort by lovely Nabiji. But yet, it may not result in a medal. Deng and Bersenis are now going to move to 137. And she would have beaten them in the head-to-head -head both. She'd have beaten everybody in the head-to-head. Pala Bersenis now going. Higher, 137. She's got 130. She's got 133. 
This is Hyatt for the BG. Mercedes hoping, anticipating. It's not higher than her ability today. Great reception inside this arena, this great historic arena. Built for the 1968 Olympic Games. Basketball venue, multi-sport venue. And like a lot of uh, stadiums, a lot of places, full stop in Mexico City and the country. Named not after a sporting hero, but a national hero of the 19th century. Benito War is one of those as well, the uh, Royal Olympic Complex. Sports Federation named after him and the airport, the first president of the country. Versenus gets this, they might like to name something after her. This for now for the gold medal position. Right now she's in bronze. Still finish outside the medals. But if she clears this, she's guaranteed a medal and would be in the lead. 18 seconds left though. She likes to leave it late. So much time. 137, and it is beyond her. It is. So she stays third for now. But you have to go for it. You can't be left wondering. She's put absolutely everything into it. Even 136 a kilo less than that would have been uh, no guarantee of the gold. Bishi would have taken that the head-to-head. -head. She's gone for it, she went for it, she had to. She's still in the bronze medal position. The only medals Mexico have won this week in the Senior World Championships have been gold. Bronze for her would be terrific. Fourth in the Paralympics in Rio. Silver and two bronzes in the Paralympic career, and she was the 2010 world champion by saying this, but no mark in Dubai. And if Deng gets this, it will be no medal for Barsenas. 137 the target. Same as what Barsenas has just missed out on. Comes here in front of a partisan Mexican crowd. This would deny Mexico a medal. This to go into the gold medal position. Slowly but surely, she's got it raised. Down to the officials now. It's going to be a split decision and it is against her and it was 1-1 for a good but I can tell you and then that final call denying her it's fourth for Deng Mexico win a medal through Bersenas and they win the bronze Zebu's appeal ongoing if she gets that she would go up into third but uh, for now still a thumbs down but it's being reviewed we're down to the last two. And again, great effort by Deng. And just missed out. Finishes at 131. Ronda Mahmoud. So here's where the goal gets decided. Currently a beach in the gold medal position. With 136 in this final round. Abiji finishing second in Dubai in the last World Championships behind Randa Mahmoud. And this is the lift that can make it happen again. This 138. Mercedes has won the bronze.
Mahmoud currently in silver. The final lift of the competition. And this for the goal. Defending her title, the reigning world champion, the Paralympic champion, the World Cup winner this year, Mahmoud going for the gold. Excitement around the stadium, is it justified? She's got it, she's the world champion again. Randa Mahmoud clears 138. It was two to one in her favor. And Egypt, perennially successful, get their fourth gold here. Randa Mahmoud defends the crowd, had to pull it out right to the death, and she did. Mahmoud and Abiji, the only two successful with their attempts in the final round. It got Abiji into the medals, put her in the gold medal spot until there. And Mahmoud, super lift, two to one. And she is again the world champion. She was the only lifter to get all three of her attempts. 132, 135 and 138. Fabulous by Mahmoud. And she is the world champion for a second time. Fiji the silver for Nigeria and Mercedes the bronze for Mexico. Lena Katzman had a solid run too. Lira was the best out of Group B, finishing sixth for Mexico.